Cochrane Siegel's silver medal winning run came on man-made snow. You've heard about this. Beijing has had to generate all of its own snow for the games, the equivalent of 74 swimming pools. It's something with which Cochrane's family has plenty of experience, as Local 22's Jolie Sherman shows us. At Cochrane Ski Area, this is where the snowmaking magic happens, an operation that began in 2007. 500 gallons of water a minute, 18 million gallons a year. It completely transformed this place. We went from being yeah, totally reliant on natural snow and be able to guarantee a season for one and also have a, a product that's way better. And Cochran says a reliable system makes for a reliable season, which for them typically starts in December and ends in April. But before a state-of-the-art system, a long-lasting season was a challenge. It was tough. It was really tough. It's because we, we got snowmaking in 2007, we had a long history of operating without it. And so we were able to experience those winters where, yeah, we kids would basically never ski here. But these days, as long as it's cold enough, which usually means temps in the teens, the pump house will pull water from the Winooski River, send it up the hill and out through the guns. It's really dense, it's really durable, it lasts through warm temperatures really well. Other longtime skiers and aspiring Olympians would agree. It's more slick surface than it is powder. So when you're skiing on man-made snow, you're going a little bit faster. Right? Um, it's very enjoyable at the beginning of the season when there isn't snow here since it is such a tiny mountain. Cochran says 18 million gallons of water a year is still on the smaller side when compared to the water needed for a bigger ski area or at the Winter Games in Beijing, where they're using roughly 49 million gallons. And starting next Monday, a Massachusetts and Quebec-based company will be coming to Cochran's to display and demonstrate new snow guns. Reporting in Richmond, I'm Jolie Sherman.